G'day and welcome to this introductory Jamovi walkthrough with James Neal for Research Methods in Psychology. So this is really for people who haven't used Jamovi before or perhaps you just want a bit of a refresher about Jamovi. So I'll give you the brief background or story behind Jamovi. We'll look at how to install the menus and options you'll find within Jamovi and a little bit about the files, the, the OMV file that you'll save. And finally, I'll, I'll point you to where you can find more information. So Jamovi is a visual front end to the statistical package called R. Um, you can, R is a programming environment and Jamovi gives you an easy to learn way of accessing that software. And it's becoming increasingly widely used, both R and Jamovi, uh, because it's free and open source. And um, the good news for those of you who've used SPSS, before is that it's quite similar um, and that, that makes it easy to learn. You've got data sitting in a spreadsheet, analysis options in menus, and then a space for output, um, tables, graphs, etc. Uh, a nice feature of Jamovi is that if you want more advanced analyses, you can install any number of additional modules to give you um, those functions. Uh, so go ahead and install the latest stable version of Jamovi for your operating system. If you've already got it installed, uh, it's worth downloading the latest version and updating uh, your installation. Uh, it will go onto desktops, not mobiles. Uh, you can use a cloud version, but it doesn't allow the additional modules which you're going to need as you go along. And there are, uh, there's Jamovi is available on all UC student computers, including in 12B16, the uh, psychology computer lab. So I'm going to uh, show you Jamovi in a moment and we'll go through these menus and options. Uh, on the top left, the hamburger menu, that's basically where you, you get data in and out of Jamovi. And then you've got tabs with different types of analyses, but the first couple relate to managing your data, the variables and data tab. And then you've got the analytical functions and the output that you can edit. There's a few settings we can change and I'll show you where you can go to install additional modules. So let's go to Jamovi. And when you open up Jamovi, it will probably look something like this. Now, I've actually gone ahead and you'll, you'll have ABC and an empty data sheet. I've gone in and started renaming variables. So as a way to explore, just try clicking and also double clicking or right clicking on things that you might want to change. So if I right click there, I can, I've got options to add, insert variables if I want an extra one here. Um, and you can cut Type things. So uh, just to start finding your way around, try, try that out. Uh, you can go to the variables tab and this will give you a way to manage the properties for each variable. And that includes the level of measurement. Whether there's missing values uh, and labels that you want to attach. And then you can hide that and go back to the data sheet. So I would either open up a data file or create a little data file if I'm mucking around with 
um, the movie because it will give you something to analyse. And that's why that will all be here in the analysis tab. The broad categories are exploration or descriptive stats, t-tests, ANOVAs, regressions, uh, frequencies, which looks to me like non-parametric statistics, and factor, anal factor includes reliability and factor analysis. So the best place to start is with exploration and probably descriptive statistics. And with most of these, you can shift variables from your list over into the variables box. And one of the features about Jamovi is that the analysis are live. So as soon as I did that, it created this table. And you can open up these option boxes down here and tick other things on or tick things off. And you'll see this analysis changing as we go. So that makes it quite interactive and um, interesting to see that you can easily um, adjust the results. And then if we want to do another analysis, uh, let's say we want to do a t-test. I don't even know if that will work. Um, what I will see in, I've got two analyses now, descriptives and independent samples t-test and by clicking in the output on the previous analysis it'll take me back to that one and I can change it and if I click on the t-test it takes me into this one and I can change it so the results are always live and adjustable okay uh, modules over here on the right if you go to modules and then Jamovi library, you can see I've I've got two modules installed. They come by default, but there's a whole bunch of other modules sitting here in the library that I could play around with, or um, perhaps there's something that can be done a different way or a better way or analyses that you want to use that Jamovi doesn't have by default. Um, including, I noticed down the very bottom, you can install uh, this one, Jamovi Arcade, which plays games for you using the, the software. Uh, we will be using Gamal J and the Jam model uh, during semester. All right, um, saving data files. So I've got an untitled data file here. Uh, test two. And if you save that, and then you can open it back up or just double click on it, and it will bring you straight back into this editing environment. Um, you, if you want to, you can export to PDF or but the better way to get your graphs and tables out is probably just to uh, right click and copy or export directly from here all right so the last thing where do you go for whoops going back to the start where do you go for more info uh, my suggestions are the Jamovi user guide that's online and it's part of the Jamovi website. Uh, there's really no replacement for reading the soft the, the guide that goes with the software. Uh, if you want something more structured, there's a nice series of 50 or so short videos about using Jamovi and from datalab.cc and you might just go through and pick out some of the ones that you want to um, look at. And if you like it in a written format with screenshots and things like that, then the Navarro and Foxcroft 
learning statistics with Jamovi uh, online book or downloadable PDF is um, probably the way to go.